Two Russian-born scientists shared this year's Nobel Prize in Physics for experiments with a substance they discovered in 2004 called graphene, the thinnest and strongest material on Earth. A layer of graphene is a single atom thick, so tiny it would take more than a million sheets stacked on top of each other to reach a single millimeter tall. But if you stretched a sheet of the carbon-based chicken wire-shaped material over a coffee cup, it would be strong enough to support the weight of a car. Scientists think that in the future, the wonder material could be used for high-capacity batteries, flat-screen TVs, and for ultra-small computer chips, its most promising use. And despite its amazing properties, graphene isn't rare. In fact, any time you write with a graphite pencil, graphene is produced. That's how it was first isolated by prize winners Andre Game and Konstantin Novoselov, who used scotch tape to collect graphene from pencil lead. Which just goes to show you don't need a lot of money to win a Nobel, and almost none to win an Ig Nobel, the yearly prize for the least distinguished scientific research. Past winners of the Ig Nobel included a Welsh scientist who invented a high-pitched noisemaker designed to scare away teenagers, a researcher in Australia who studied belly button lint, and one in sociology for a PhD student who wrote his thesis on Canadian donut shops. In 2000, one of the Ig Nobels went to a scientist who levitated a frog with a magnet, whose name was Andre Game, who 10 years later became the first individual to win both an Ig Nobel and a real Nobel when he shared this year's Nobel Prize in Physics for pioneering research on graphene, the world's strongest material.